welcome to the MBS Show, episode... Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Reviews. I'm your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. Me! I'm old and cranky, but that makes it okay and charming. You bunch of whippersnappers. Me! <laughs> All right, Grandpa Quill. We'll give you the old oh, no. and blanket. And also, me? <laughs> and also joining us today is Sapphire. I'm young and enthusiastic, and even though you're beating me with a stick, I'll take it anyway, because I just want to help. What? <laughs> All right, I'm old, and I, I'm old and pervy, and the way you said just take it with a stick is just wrong, child. <laughs> wrong! <laughs> uh, no, no, Silver, do, do, do Herbert, do Herbert. <laughs> so you're a lecturer. I'm that old guy from Family Guy. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, why? So as you guys may have... Yes, we're doing Friends Forever, issue 27. Man? Uh, this comic features Granny Smith and Pinkie Pie. Published date is April 6, 2016. Written by Christina Rice. Art by Agnes Garboska. Colorist by Agnes Garboska and Lauren Perry as assistants. So, yay, um, this is quite interesting. Boring at first, but has a really huge lesson at the end. So, synopsis for this comic is Granny Smith has a big boo-boo and she can't walk. And since everyone on the farm is busy, Pinkie Pie comes in and helps with the chore and whatnot. But since she's not really good, she's there to help Granny Smith. There's the synopsis. We'll see how it goes. But first impressions. Seppi, what about you? Oh boy, first impressions for me. I actually like this comic. Although I am disappointed in this comic, making it the worst comic ever. What? How? Granny did not once try to assault Pinkie Pie with a cane or something. Worst comic ever. Okay. Seriously, the slapstick would have been really funny, but in all seriousness, oh my gosh, I enjoyed this comic. Pinkie is, like, the sweetest, like... Saint in this comic. Like, even though Granny's being all nasty and crap, she's all, Oh, I'm here to help. I love helping you anyway. I friggin' love Pinky in this. She's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And Silver, what about you? Well, for starters, I've just learned about Sapphire's need for violence. <laughs> I like violence. Violence is fun. This explains so much. So much. <laughs> oh. I can agree. It's a fun contrast. You don't normally assume Granny Smith and Pinkie Pie would would be co-stars. And it does show Pinkie with marvelous patience and affection. You kind of learn, I kind of start to wonder about her childhood. Excuse me, for Actually, I find it funny with this because um, I kind of deal with relatives that act sort of like granny like if i don't do everything just right they'll like get all nasty and yelling at me and crap so i find pinky to be a bit of an inspiration because i would have lost my head if i had to deal with granny acting as she did however going by the granny we've seen in the show and in prior comics she's never been this cantankerous I guess it can be explained by the fact she was just recently injured and is probably feeling very vulnerable right now. But there comes a point where it's like, okay, you're not really the granny I've seen in past episodes. Feeling like they're taking your character a little bit outside the realm of of connect connectivity. Mm. Well, you can have a character with granny's face, but, oh my gosh, she's a changeling! <laughs> oh god, no. And as for me, I honestly feel that this comic is pretty awesome because like Seppi said, it's an inspiration for us as young kids to understand and be patient with the old ones because dealing with elderly is not easy because they are set in their own ways, they have their own way of thinking and it's hard for us to slow down and go deal with things at their own pace. So with this, it does seem like Granny Smith is kind of a bully towards Pinkie Pie. But in all honesty, Pinkie just listens and she's just awesome in this comic. And the fact that she wanted to help in the first place, not with 
Granny Smith, but with the chores on the farm, from bucking apple trees to, well, other things on the farm that she could do. This is just awesome. And with that, I think we can start the review here, as per usual. Should we do it by uh, scene by scene or themes, scene like last scene. episode? Yeah. Okay, from, yeah. From, from my experience with that one, it didn't turn out too well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe if we go by teams, I'll let Silver take that one. Okie dokie. But right now, we came, we've seen, we'll conquer. Yep. So it's going to be scenes then. So... We start off the episode with Granny Smith waking up early in the morning and, well, just doing her daily routine. I don't know whose fault is this. I, I'm going to blame it on Apple Bloom. And, yeah, she trips and falls. And I think she sprained her ankle, right? Uh, all I know, she's uh, uh, raking no, in she... the sympathy. <laughs> she ruined her hip. <laughs> ah, yeah. Her hip. <laughs> it's always the hips. But yeah, she hurt her hips and is bit ridden. And and Applejack comments that uh, if if falling down and going yow is good is good as new, then I'm a fruit bat. <laughs> Again, her her bias against the fruit bats is just unending. <laughs> yeah. I, and no, they have a no no. It's bias against like vampire fruit bats, not fruit bats in general. Ah, she said fruit bats. She she said fruit bats. There's no there's no. Well, it doesn't make her prejudice against them. She assaulted them in their homes. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> uh, also, they, they hooked Granny Smith up with the worst doctor in Ponyville. Because while he says you've broken your hip, look what's bandaged. Your <laughs> legs. Oh, God. Yeah, really. Uh, Was there some type of miscommunication between the art and the writing again? Just like the... What is it? What was it? The Spike and Zakora comic? Uh, no, that was, I think, Gilda and Rarity. That too. No, but still, I think for this one, it's the visual gag. Because if you bandage the hip location, I ain't gonna send a message that she's hurting. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't the art made by Agnes Barboska? Yeah. Garboska. That... I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Then that explains a lot. Well, okay, that's all I need to know. Why? Why Why does that explain she a lot? She was the same artist for the Spike and Zagora comic where I first pointed that out. All right. So that explains a lot. But still, I, I'm going for the visual effect here because to bandage up a leg means that you're bit ridden. You can't walk. To bandage your hip, that would state that you're still able, but it would look weird. I don't know. You got a big old cast covering both your legs and your hit, your torso. I'm going to say that's, you're not going anywhere. Well, if anything, then the writing department should have said like leg or something in order to make the art less stressful. Yeah, that could have, yeah, that's it one. It could thing. have been re rewritten. Yeah, but I think this right? is, yeah, yeah, I, I do agree because if it says leg, ankle, or sprain, that could have, made it work, but they, we're pointing out little problems that don't really need to be pointed out, or they're distracting our main goal, which is to finish this review within a certain set of time. But anyway, um, we have Pinky coming in and wanting to help. Yay! And she's just there. I mean, I think she just appears. <laughs> yep. Ra a random Pinkie Pie has appeared. <laughs> hey, let's go play Pokemon Go. No! <laughs> no! But anyway. No. Pinky comes saying that she can help with the chores since Granny Smith will be bedridden within a, uh, within a month, right? She'll be within a month? No, for a month. For a month. Within a month, me within a month means we're gonna make her bedridden. <laughs> Any difference? Yeah. Big Mac, break her, let break her knees. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, that that went dark, but yeah, okay. And, that, and that's when they became the Apple Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be a fun alternate world story. Uh, I, I think actually, that would be a fun alternate world. I, I think fan fiction writers can do it. But anyway, um, Pinkie Pie volunteers for herself to help, and yeah. We'll get to see her try and buck apple trees. And Applejack makes it look easy. 
But that's because she's a powerful pony. I'm flashing back to uh, Magical Mystery Cure. Pinky did not have fun being on the farm. Ah, yes. Yeah, with her life on a rock farm, she did not enjoy the... Yeah, no, she didn't. Or did she? Because I thought she kind of did. Remember in the Heartswarming episode? She looks like she was having fun. On Heartswarming? Sorry, ah... It's the Christmas episode where the apples and the pie met up. Oh, well, there she was taking them to a rock farm, and it's it's a weird contrast. Somehow Pinky is more attuned to rocks than she is to apples. Yeah, but still, but still. We get to see Pinky here trying to help, but fail. So Applejack decides to change it up and see what she can do. And apparently that thing that is a Nova driver. Yay. Oh, oh, great. Uh, Pinky is Equestria's first Uber. <laughs> yeah. Text her and she'll answer, yo. Of course, first you have to actually like send a magical scroll because you don't have cell phones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, God. If Equestria had, had smartphones, they'd all be playing Parasite Go right now. <laughs> Parasite Go. Oh, yeah. That could work. That could work. But still, uh, Pinkie Pie will be... Driving Granny Smith to town and back for the grocery shopping and whatnot. And like any old person, Granny Smith has a big ego and she states that she can walk. Obviously not. Actually, she says something that, that sort of makes me do a double take. I don't need no pony's help, especially a pony that's not an apple. Even if the whole genetic ancestry thing doesn't pan out, Pinky's been declared an honorary family member. But I... True, true, and I think this is more of an ego thing talking instead of logical thinking going on. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying this is this is where I started to scratch my head and say, how mean are they going to make Granny Smith here? Uh, yeah, but still, you did mention that Granny Smith is feeling kind of vulnerable with what happened to her, and well, I do see this in people. Like I, I can, I think I've experienced this with my own grandma. But still, um, not even once that Pinkie Pie told her that this was a bad idea and got angry with her. She just says that, are you sure you do want to ride? It's nice and cozy here. And Granny Smith kind of gave in and accepted the Uber ride. <laughs> Pinkie and Granny have just reached town after Granny basically is just driving Miss Daisy on, <laughs> on speed. <laughs> Honestly, the, the, we are sort of falling into a rhythm here. Pinky goes to help Granny. Granny complains. Pinky agrees and is almost saintly in her patience. Leather, rinse, repeat. And, well, the only reason why is because I think Pinky is used to this kind of situation. And, well, for Pinky, she wants to make everyone happy. And she made friends with Cranky Doodle Donkey, a grumpy person. Sorry, a grumpy donkey. A really, really grumpy donkey. So, yeah, Pinky knows how to deal with people. Although the scene with uh, Granny in the dark, oh my gosh, that is literally the funniest thing ever. (laughs) Pinky's been standing for me. I won't take no for an answer. She did steal for me. Oh, hi! I made you a cobbler, and I also got you a new can of cheese. (laughs) You were saying? (laughs) That's literally the best scene in this comic. (laughs) Yep. Paranoid old person. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Ain't that right, Silver? Me! Me! Stop looking at me, you youngins! Me! <laughs> <laughs> but still, yeah, like Silver mentioned before, is the whole letter, rinse, and repeat. But we do see that Granny starts to soften up and kind of, well, be nicer to her and talk about certain things like the trees in the apple orchard and whatnot. And Pinky's just listening in and getting all this info. We do see that Granny's being a bit mean towards Pinky the whole way, and Applejack's concerned for it because an Apple family member being mean to one of my bestest friends, oh, that's not good. I I think Granny may be annoyed by this as Applejack decides that, hey, you know what, Granny? Uh, Pinky won't be coming anymore because it's best that you... Don't see her because she annoys you? Uh, yeah, that's... I guess that makes sense. And 
out of context, I guess. I Well, it makes sense for Applejack, but at the same time, maybe it's not necessary to, like, ban Pinky from coming all together. Well, like, without her knowing. Well, as a... As we're about to see, this may be part of a more elaborate plan. And what is that plan? To take Granny Smith to go see her friends at the Ponyville Retirement Village as they deliver some cider. Ah. How deliciously convenient that they're going to a retirement center on the day Pinkie Pie is no longer available. <laughs> er, what, what tangled web we weave. <laughs> okay, one, on the page where we're at the retirement center, upper left corner of the second panel. Some pony is saying bingo. Is that Diamond Tiara? It looks like Diamond Tiara. It looks like old Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon. Oh, God. (laughs) Did they somehow find an aging spell or something? I I, I think that's their grandparents. (laughs) That or they somehow, like, uh, ended up with an aging spell as, like, some sort of weird punishment where they have to live as old people. I I think they're redeemed by this point. They're, They're good. They're good ponies. Still not far from the truth, though. <laughs> but still, so we discovered that Pinkie Pie is working at the old folks' home. Yay! And Granny's with his surprise. Granny tries to help a friend and basically just sort of has the snap realization of how everyone's being cantankerous. And she feels bad about how she treated Pinkie. Now, this is where I start to wonder if Applejack maybe had a plan. She calls Pinkie aside and says, Pinkie, could you maybe volunteer at the retirement center tomorrow? And then, oh, how convenient Granny Smith is there and happens to learn a lesson from one of her friends. That would be very, very devious of AJ to do. She's been hanging around Princess Celestia. (laughs) Honestly, um, I would say no, and this is just a huge coincidence, but I would like to know if it's that way, because if it's true, this is another side of AJ that is interesting to see. There is one panel about AJ that makes me question my own assumption. Uh, let's see. Right after Pinky reappears, do you see the expression on AJ's face? What happened to her, uh, what are they called? Corneas? She looks like a Saturday morning funny paper escapee. Oh boy, she's staring off in the distance. Woo! Oh, she, she's having one of those when Applejack won the war flashbacks. <laughs> no, not canon. <laughs> No, there were plenty of cannons. <laughs> and they were all firing apples. Oh, God, no. But still, um, this is a lesson learned for Granny. And in the next page, Pinkie Pie comes to the farm and wants to be the Uber driver for Granny Smith again. And I, I think this is one of those situations where I think it's cute. I'm still sort of focused on Pinky saying, hearing you complain about everything I did reminded me of growing up on the rock farm. It's like, <laughs> oh god, child. That's just, that sounds awful. I grew up- Yeah, that's I grew- pretty much, uh, Pinky's family in a nutshell, I would believe, considering, you know, Pinky's life. Although that is really sad. I don't know about that. I mean, they're, they're conservative to be sure, but I just don't see them as being that emotionally mean-spirited. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's probably because of how strict the pies are. So Pinky not doing things right or Pinky doing things her way is kind of against what the pies are all about, probably. Well, who knows? But I posted just a quick little comic about that. Just like, ah, that's (laughs) dark. Pinky, you're being dark. (laughs) Don't you be going all cupcakes on me now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't remind me of 2012. A Space Odyssey? No. The just... year, the year. But anyway, with that, the comic ends. And yeah, pretty... I-, I say I would say that this comic is pretty cool. I like it. So, um, final thoughts. I present you Sapphire. What do you think? Um, overall, I still really enjoy this comic. It's a simple concept with characters that really contrast each other. I still kind of wish that Granny would beat, like, Pinky with a stick for comedic effect, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm glad they didn't do that, because Pinky is nothing but a sweetheart. She's somebody I wish I could be, in a sense, like, you know, to have that much patience with somebody who's 
acting as frustrating as as frustrated as they feel. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. You want to see vicious violence in these comics? I understand. <laughs> I don't think that's the thing she's come. Oh, well, yeah. no! I mean, like, like somebody's acting like frustrated and what as frustrating as they feel. I like that you're, ta- you're they're taking frustrated seriously. and they take it out on others. Like to have that much patience for somebody and to be so understanding is so inspiring in my eyes. Speaking of which, <laughs> uh, it's been one of those characters where she can inspire people and. Silver person of inspiring other people. What do you think? Oh yes, I'm, I'm such an inspiration as I drive, as I drive Sapphire into a fitful rage. <laughs> Feed me your rage. Uh, I enjoyed this comic. I mean, it, it's fun. It features a duo we don't normally see get to interact. Pinky is downright saintly in her patience and understanding and just that you really can't be negative to Pinky. She does, she, without even realizing it, she has sort of this emotional jujitsu where she just uh, blocks or, or redirects the flow of energy and somehow finds a way to turn it positive. You have to be literally bullying her friends to draw any sort of ire from her. Uh, so, high praise to Pinky. I, well, I understand that uh, Granny Smith might be in an emotionally vulnerable state, it's not as much fun to see her so cantankerous. She's usually much, she's sassy, but not mean. So in some ways, I feel like the comic indulges a little too, too far into her being uppity at Pinky. But all in all, it's fun. And I will hold to my Applejack is conspiring a lesson. And Princess Celestia is looking down with pride. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And as for me, I like this comic. I, I say that a lot about things, but this comic feels homey. It it has that feel where you see Granny Swift being mean and Pinkie Pie just being normal and accepting of Granny Smith. If you really think about it, she's really patient with Granny Smith and that's just awesome to see. Honestly, we all should really respect our elders in some shape or form. And Pinky here is an inspiration to all of us. Me? <laughs> and here we have Santler and or Waldorf Quill back. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, next week we're going to do another episode review. Season 6, episode number 10. Overall episode number 127, Applejack's Day Off. Uh, if you want to talk about an apple going the opposite end of the spectrum now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, we'll have to wait and see because this is a pretty fun episode where I think we can learn from because I'm sure all of us have been in this current position. But anyway, that's for a later date and later time. Now, which episode are we talking about? The one where the apple doesn't have a peel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God. I remember where you were getting that reference from. Oh, God. Oh, not that. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I guess you got the core of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Silver Quill. <laughs> and I've been Sapphire Heartsung. And this is way better than the Ebonic Quill. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys next week. See ya. Peace out, my old snizzles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Bye. <laughs> You asked for this, Seppi. I think it's a combination of the two rather than just the bonics. You asked for that. Yeah, I did, and I actually enjoyed this one. <laughs> <laughs>